Oh, alright, welcome back to more Mega Man Maker. We were playing through 11 by Red Pizza. The Electro Forest, I believe it was called. And I booted up the stage, uh, but I wanted to redo the intro, so yeah. No. <laughs> That's why it says I have already played it there. Um, yeah, we have a choice of characters. I think we're just gonna pick Proto Man here. Because why not? And we don't take double damage. Okay. All the more reason to pick him. He's a pretty strong character. The only small flaw he has is... Um, well, he actually has two small flaws, I guess. Huh? He can only have, you know, the regular Mega Man 4, Chargeable Buster. And he can only have two bullets on the screen at one time, whereas Mega Man can have three best as well. Um, so yeah, but his shield is very strong and makes up for it. And yeah. I also have a new mic uh, microphone today. Um, so yeah, I have, hopefully the sound is gonna come out okay here. But yeah, this is kind of a test also of sorts. Uh, hopefully it's all going to turn out great. Needless to say, I did try it out a little bit earlier as well, you know. On my own, so it should be fine. Oh, and yeah, we can even uh, reflect the Mega Man 1 traps there. That's pretty sweet. And yeah, the level actually looks pretty nice, I have to say. Yeah, not, not a bad level at all, yeah. Kind of climbing up the trees here, I guess. And let's see. Maybe we should try out some weapons. Let's go with this one. The Night Crusher. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. Yeah, this is a pretty good weapon, all things considered. It deals uh, massive damage and yeah, you can fire it rapidly. Also, oh my goodness, okay. Oh, interesting. Oh! That was close. So we're probably gonna see more of that now. Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, we're gonna have to be careful. We have a music change here all of a sudden. Oh, well, I thought I could slide under that. Not quite. Dude, this weapon is... Yeah. Crushing it at this point. Um, here's something I want to try. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep using this. It's uh, being very strong against these particular enemies here. So, why wouldn't I abuse it? Oh, oi, 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 oi. Uh, okay. Well, easy enough, I guess. Um. We just fall? Mm -hmm. There are spikes there! Oh my god, I didn't even see them! <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that was close. What a suck to die there. Thank you for the help, Mr. Rabbit. I appreciate it a whole lot. Ah, oh, you know what? We're. Yeah. Just, just do this. Another forest segment. Oh, <laughs> close. Pretty easy stage so far, all things considered. Like, yeah. Nothing too difficult just yet, anyway, I guess. You know what, here, let's just chuck some bombs at that dude there. That's interesting, like, the pump shield doesn't work on these guys, but the water wave water bullets goes straight on through. Hmm. And actually, the water wave is actually a pretty good weapon here as well. You can take out those annoying plant dudes. And yeah, we're definitely going up here. Nice. Hmm. 
Yeah, I love when we have these kinds of dual platform, well, dual screen platforming, you know, two different paths. Very neat stuff. Oh, I tried to make it up there. But... Actually, you had... Oh, okay, you had to take that second path there, okay. Interesting. I would love to see some- Oh my- <laughs> Dude, that surprised me. I would love to see some more of those electric gimmick items there. Oh, but we're at the boss now. Okay. Let us see what we got here. Very nice entrance. Ooh, it's Sparkman. Wait, these are things in the roof, okay. But yeah, we have Proto Man, so. Oh, dang it, I missed the reflector. But yeah, we have Proto Man, so this is gonna be a very easy fight. Uh, unless I stop sucking. Uh. And let's just have him kill himself. No. Yeah, pretty nice mushroom as well. Makes it a little bit harder to jump around. Of course, I guess Sparkman you typically just slide under him anyway, so yeah, you're probably not gonna hit those traps too much. But yeah, all in all, Electro Forest, pretty cool stage. Um, nice visuals um, and some cool gimmicks there. I wish we had seen more of the, you know, those. Gimmick items that uh, shoot out those uh, laser or electric beams. I would have liked to see more of those, like more ramping up in terms of difficulty with uh, those kinds of gimmick items. That would have been pretty sweet, but overall, nothing to really complain about here. Just a solid stage overall. Very nice job there, Red Pizza 1995. I believe he also has a YouTube channel, so you should check him out if uh, if you feel like. I also play. Ah, uh, he also plays Mega Man Maker um, for viewers, I believe. So. Yeah, hopefully I'm not wrong on that, so I'm not... <laughs> yeah, so, so I'm not wrong. <laughs> but yeah, either way, nice stage, and thank you for submitting it. Um, in the next video, we're gonna play a stage from Commander Shramp. I said I would do that in the... Well, the last time I was playing, but yeah, here we are, and I still haven't done it, but yeah. Um, I'll be uploading that shortly, so yeah. See you guys then. Okay, welcome back to more Mega Maker. We're playing through the Pulse Jump Bayou, Bayou by Commander Shrimp or Ghost Nappa. Um, yeah, I'm probably just gonna call him Commander Shrimp because that's what I'm used to him being named over on the forums, which are down now, which, yeah. <laughs> As I've already stated, I'm a little bit sad about. Ooh, and... Pretty cool there. Oh, oh, joy, oi, dude. Phew, that was close. Uh. Okay, so just gonna move on over here. Drop down. Okay, well, pretty simple. Hmm. I wonder how strong the rain is out here. <laughs> I'm not even gonna jump and find out. I'm just gonna. Just gonna let the grasshopper take me and <clears throat> I wonder if there is a way like can you stand on those things there? So, I, I don't know. They may be involved later with platforming and I hope I can figure it out. Uh, I'm not sure how those uh, life ring enemies work there. And is there? Well, doesn't seem to be a secret there. Oh, okay. Well, we do have the double jump, so yeah, we can definitely make this work. Yeah, that would have been a lot harder if we did not have Bass. <laughs> Just gonna say that. Okay. Now see, here is another thing. I do not know if the grasshopper is going to bounce on the springs. And if it does, will I get crushed in the ceiling? 
is another thing. I'm just gonna... Yep. <sighs> oh! Oh, what? What just happened? <laughs> what the... Oh, I, I panicked and pressed jump and I fell off the magnets. Okay, so... I rushed my way back. Oh, dude, that's a very nice way of doing it. Just get up in his face and angle the cannon down. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, the, you know, once whoops, once you know the layout of the stage, uh, it's not too bad to get through here, actually. And let's try and sit on this dude here. Okay, you're fine, actually. You're straight up fine. Um, yeah, we do not want to follow with him there. That would be bad. <laughs> That would be an instant death. And this is gonna take a while. <laughs> uh, yeah. 12 bullets in all from Bass. Not really scrummy damage, but we do have weapons, so what am I doing? Use them. Yeah. Let's use the light train. I actually really like the, these colors on Bass here. Yeah, the ring man and the trident man colors are actually quite look nice looking. Oh, uh, actually a lot of different color combinations is really cool on Bass. Huh. Huh. Well, nice jump. And is this already the boss? It is! Okay! Hmm. Well, I don't mind. Short and sweet stage. Question is how like that I guess. Oh no, wait. Yeah, how Well I guess um I guess we're just gonna sit here. And <laughs> Okay. I might have found a very abusable spot to sit down here. Oh, oh that's a shame. Oh he got loose! Oh! He got loose! What the... <laughs> I did not expect that. Okay, well, good. It would actually have been a little bit sad winning like that, to be quite honest with you. So, we're gonna start off... ...by killing the turrets. Yeah, we're just gonna... ...try and... Be a little bit careful here. Oh, oh, do, 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 do. here, just sit here. If he breaks out, we'll worry about it later. Oh god, he, he actually can't hurt me. But I might win the damage race here. Okay, I thought it would shoot again. You know what? Here's a better strategy. Okay, well, he's, he's gonna get loose if I don't, yeah. Drew him back in there. But yeah, just do it like this. Yeah, that's the best strategy. Oh, okay, that wasn't the final boss. Well then. That makes more sense then, that it was a bit easy there. Hmm, okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> just, just die, please. Oh, dude, that was tricky. Okay. That was tricky. I wonder, though. We might want the Light Trident instead for this. And we also might want to save a jump. Yeah. Keep one of the jumps whenever, so that you can, like... Well, actually, let's try this out. Can we... Dude... Yeah, so, if we save a jump, we can drop and still have, you know, have one jump buffer there. Mm. Hmm? Oh! Oh! oh. 
<laughs> okay. Very cool. Um. Oi, oi, oi. Wow, dude. <laughs> Thanks to Bass. Incredible jump powers. You can still clear these gaps very easily, thankfully. You know what's here? <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful around here. That's a pretty neat segment. Dude. Yeah, just... Just take it. Take it and shoot him. And do that. And very nice, very very nice, and boss again, maybe? Let's see what we have here now. Hmm. Yeah, I fought this combo before. Not in a room looking exactly like this though. Hmm, I see, he's gonna bounce up. Yeah, here, you know what? Let's try and get some cheap shots in here while he's dunking himself into the wall here. And you also want to keep jumping here so that he doesn't stun lock you. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. The only thing that can really save him there is like if uh, Splash Woman uh, makes me wait to the you know side so that the uh, concrete man can break free again. Oh Jesus, Jeebus! Nice. And I should have tried and yeah, you remain again there. Oh my God! Okay. Oh, jump too soon? Huh. Dude, he's scaring me when he does that. Oh, dude. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> you can actually do it like that, too. Yeah, just like this. Huh. Well, pretty cool boss, right? Certainly a very aesthetically nice one. I like the... Yeah, you know, moon with the custom-made stars there with the... Level editor or the, you know, yeah, the, the, uh, what is it called? Uh, the add on uh, editor, whatever. Uh, <laughs> that snowflakes made it. Either way, really cool stuff here. Pulse jump by you, nice looking level, and it had some fun magnet man plat, well, magnet platforming from whatever game that is from. <laughs> but yeah, really nice level goes Noppa. Um, yeah, that's really all there is to say, so <laughs> I'm just gonna run it off with that. Um, Please feel free to submit submit another stage if, like, if you would like to see me play it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. All right, welcome back. That was a weird music <laughs> transition. Um, yeah, we're playing a stage by Fallyboom04, a well, a fan made game here of Mega Man 13. He has made himself here, and it is a well. Basically, it's a level pack, but I'm not. I'm not gonna do this one stage here. So, yeah, I'm only gonna pick two weapons, and I'm not gonna pick any e tanks for obvious reasons. And yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. Oh, and now we're back to this. I think that if you had put the, you know, the item screen music as the basic soundtrack for the stage and then put the um, soundtrack changer here, you would have a, um, you know, you wouldn't have that weird hiccup there. Hmm. Maybe you already have realized that by now since it's probably been uploaded for a bit here. But, but yeah, still just pointing it out. Ooh. Getting some Mega Man 3 vibes. Whoops. 
Yeah, and I'm just taking all kinds of damage here. Wow, dude, can we <laughs> stop getting hurt all the time? Oh, and also, um, I am recording with the new microphone, so hopefully it's all going to come out just fine here. I'm very excited to hear how it's gonna pan out. Ooh, yeah. I hope we get more of those uh, magnet trails there. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. We have one, two, three, four, five. No, okay, it's six. There, yeah, six. There. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, it's hard to keep up on the counting there. But yeah, basically, he wiggles, uh, you know, left, right, left, right, left, right, shoot. Uh, so, yeah. If you just count. You can very easily keep track there. And we picked a very nice uh, weapon here for this particular level, huh? Yeah, imagine starting here with only the Buster, you would walk around in darkness. Hmm. That's actually kind of interesting. I probably won't shoot those uh, from now on if there are more of them. Huh. Cool looking room. Very simple, but. Nice layout wise. Oh, I think I pressed jump. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, yeah, so, through Packer, and indeed, this is, uh, you do drop off by pressing A. That would have been a nice tutorial here, like, if, if you had extended the pillar out here, down here, that way the player would have been forced to, you know, Try and press A and land down there, like a cool way of uh, teaching. Yeah, teaching the player. That's something I gotta have to keep in mind for myself if I ever do decide and make a stage with these. I probably will at some point because it's a very interesting gimmick item. <laughs> and this is a pretty nasty hammer, you. <laughs> um. Holy crap, dude. Nice. Very, very nice. And we can just... Wait, can we empower him? Actually, I kind of want to know here. Oh, yeah, you can. Nope. And no electric guys come out of the pits? There definitely were some earlier on in the level. <laughs> so we gotta keep it in mind that they might pop out. Nice, and we're almost dead. Uh -huh. hmm. Well, it's all fixed now, and we can't get that. Not even the rush coil, I don't think. Oh, well, maybe we can. Oh, oh, Jesus, dude. Let's try it again. We just find the magic pixel here. Wow! Uh, that's cool. Uh, that's not very easy to find out, or you know, know that you can do that. Even if you have rush coin, it doesn't look. I bet mo uh, many people miss that. Huh? Wow, dude, the wind is so strong in here. It's on the max setting, uh, I believe. Okay, well, lesson learned. Huh? Be careful out here. Oi, yo, yo, dude. Yeah, th this rain is gonna make this guy kind of scary, actually. Oh! I completely forgot about them. <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow, dude! What are you doing? Oh, memory spam of a ghoul fish. Okay, we're pretty much back. This time, we're not gonna forget about these annoying enemies. Can we just make a tiny, yeah, tiny, tiny hop? And here we can probably just slide. And you know what? Take you out. Nice. And this might be the boss. Yep. And it's cheap, man. Well. Gonna be easy enough. Can we actually hurt him with this? 
Kind of. Hmm. Well. Yeah, we're just gonna stick with the Belster here. Tank. Actually, dang it. Duh. Oh, wow, that. That is a good weapon. Boom. Duh. Yeah, since the damage from the fire stacks, <laughs> that's why it deals so damn much. Huh? Nine pieces of damage there already. Huh? But yeah, pretty nice level by Fellyboom04. I can see why it has a few upvotes here. Pretty nice stage all around. Um, pretty much as with the electric Electro Force that we played from um, Red Pizza there um, in the last video. Um, I would have liked to see more difficulty ramping with the, you know, ceiling lanes. They were just kind of a little bit of the same, you know, over and over. Um, just a, yeah, I would like to see them incorporated with some enemies and perhaps uh, with some pits, you know, have, you know, drop from them onto platforms and you have to keep jumping, you know, a little bit more spiced up, I would have liked to see it, it was a little bit too easy almost, um, but they were all like, the vicious looked fine and there wasn't really anything bad about the stage, I just wish it was a little bit more difficult, but overall a very solid stage and it was fun to play, definitely a lot better than, um, uh, you know, <laughs> all those stages you see in the newest Kula, yeah. It's, uh... Yeah. It's a... It's a... It's a, it's, it's a great stage, is basically what I'm trying to say. I'm definitely way above average still, so... Yeah. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Thank you for submitting the stage, Felly Boom, and... Mm, maybe we'll check out more stages uh, from this pack in the future, like... If you would like me to, to see me play another one, like, you can just uh, submit one from the level pack here, like, yeah. yeah. Just any particular one that you would like to see me play, um, if you do, if you do want to, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll just wrap it up with that, so thank you guys so very much for watching, and have a nice day.